There's a lot of talk about romance, but not a lot of action to back it up. I'm Dave Valletta, the author and creator of the cookbook, Two Romance with Love. And I'm here to tell you that romance is more than just a few oysters and some chocolates. It's about creating the moment. So welcome to the world of romance cooking. We're gonna be creating a night to remember. It's a three course dining experience for two that begins with a shrimp appetizer, followed by a mixed green salad, and for the main course, a succulent chicken franchise. So let's get started. We're gonna start out with the shrimp appetizer. I'm gonna show you a real sexy way to put these shrimp together on, an, on a skewer. Season your shrimp with salt, pepper, and a little essence. Drizzle the pan with some oil. Add some chopped basil, some garlic, and drizzle lightly with oil. Add four pats of butter. Squeeze the juice of a half lemon. Drizzle a quarter cup of white wine and place it in the oven. They've been in for a couple of minutes. You're gonna open up the oven. You're gonna see that they're starting to get nice and red and there's your juice coming on the side. You're gonna take them, you're gonna flip them over. Put it back in the oven just for a couple of more minutes. This is gonna be coming out any minute. We're gonna plate it and then we're gonna serve it. Now, one of the key ingredients to a nice romantic night is you need to keep the kitchen clean. And if you do this as you go along, then at the end of the night when dessert comes, you're all cleaned up, ready to go. Now we're ready to go on to the mixed greens. Slice your tomatoes in quarters, season your salad, drizzle some olive oil, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, toss, and you're all set. And then from there, we're gonna plate it up. Grab a couple of those nice, ripe, yummy tomatoes. And there you go. There's your mixed green salad. How simple is that? Next course is gonna be the succulent chicken franchise with a nice garlic string beans. And this is a simple, easy thing, but the first thing you gotta do is you gotta do the string beans ahead of the chicken. Put your string beans in the steamer. Let them blanch for eight to 10 minutes and then rinse them under cool water. Take your string beans and you just kind of roll them right out there onto the paper. This way they can kind of dry out, cool down. So now we're getting there. We're already halfway through the meal. This is the fun part, the chicken part. Easy, fun, and this is, the, uh, this is what tops off the night. So we start out with chicken now. Chicken is thin sliced chicken. You can buy this at any supermarket. I like to take thin sliced chicken. And you know, you see a little bit of that fat, I like to just kind of, you know, cut it off. So now we're gonna make the franchise batter. It's just, it's eggs, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of parsley. We're gonna open up four eggs. We're gonna season it with some salt, some pepper, and a nice big pinch of fresh chopped parsley. Beat the eggs to a nice consistency. Cover the bottom of the pan with olive oil and turn on the heat. Coat the chicken in flour and drench in the franchise batter. Here's a real easy way to figure out if the oil's hot enough or not. You take a little bit of the egg and you drop it in there. And you see when it starts to bubble up like that, it's ready. So, you're gonna take your chicken and you're gonna just lay it right in there. Just like that. And you see it's bubbling, it's starting to cook nice. You're gonna take the other piece of chicken, put it in there. Take the cooked chicken from the pan and place it on a paper towel to soak up the excess oil. Season with salt. Now we're ready to make the franchise sauce. We're gonna drizzle a little olive oil on the bottom of the pan, a half a teaspoon of shallots, a half a teaspoon of garlic, and a pinch of chopped basil. So now we got the basil kind of going on in there. We want to get this to where the, the, the shallots and the garlic and everything is just kind of cooked down. Then we add four pats of butter and add the juice of a half lemon. Add a splash of white wine 
and then a quarter to half cup of chicken stock. A little pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and we're gonna kinda let this thing kinda come up to a nice simmer. We're gonna prepare the green beans. We have the green beans already ready on the side. So I'll tell you, a half a teaspoon of garlic. And now you got that thing nice and hot, so here's what we do from here. You know, we take our green beans, and we're gonna just kinda put them in there, and toss them around. And give it a little shake, and then you take your salt again, you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and now you got this thing kind of stirring around. You can take you stick your spoon and just kind of, because you want to coat these beans with that oil. You know, I mean, this, this is just yummy. What we're going to do next is real simple. We got a mixture of Wonder Flour and water. Okay? We're going to watch this thing, how it's bubbling like that. We're going to just drizzle a little bit in there and kind of stir it around. Okay, and you know, you stir it around because you're gonna bring it to a consistency that you like, not too watery, not too thick. And we take our chicken, we set it right in there in that nice hot sauce. We kind of, I mean, look, are you kidding me? If, if your wife or your husband came home to this meal, come on, it'll definitely be a night to remember. Now it's time to plate it and enjoy it. So. We're going to take our string beans, we're going to set them on the side, you plate it up nice like this, a couple nice pieces of chicken, and you can just drizzle a little bit of that sauce over the top. Are you kidding me? You grab a little bit of parsley and just kind of boom, 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 and you are set to go. Now that you've created the perfect romantic meal, create the perfect atmosphere. Romance with love. Enjoy the romance.